Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Somebody, it's good to have you on again this evening. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of our God. Praise be the name of Jehovah. What an awesome God we serve. I want to believe you have a wonderful day today. Praise be the name of the Lord. Quickly before we go on, I want you to invite your friends. I want you to invite your family to join us on this platform, Power of Prayer. And quickly, I want to say this to you. Get your Holy Communion ready. Remember on Thursdays evening, we have our Holy Communion. Aha, we have our Holy Communion. So if you don't have your Holy Communion right now, I want you to get your Holy Communion ready. Make sure you put it very close to your side so that when it's time for us to partake of the Holy Communion, it will be easy for you to reach out to your Holy Communion and have it. You may say to me, I don't have the wine. I don't have um, the usual bread that they use for Holy Communion. But any bread we do, your biscuit we even do, Rabina we do, something that you have, just a symbol of the Holy Communion. If you can just put it very close to yourself. So when we get to that bridge, we'll be able to cross it. I say the Lord bless you. Thank you again for joining Power of Prayer this evening. You and the nation, it's my prayer that you'll be made a praise in the head in the mighty name of Jesus. Before we go on, I want you to invite your family. I want you to invite your friends. I want you to invite your loved one. I want you to spread the good news of what God is doing on this platform. I want you to reach out to lives of people. Remember, we are meant to be the carriers of good news. And we're also meant to spread the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. While you are still here alive, what you can do to be remembered those people that you touch their life. So this evening, quickly, spread the good news, spread the good news. I'm going to give you two minutes before we go and have a word of prayer again tonight. I want you to spread the good news. Go on and spread the good news. I want you to share. I want you to share this message. Go ahead, share this message. Share it to your loved ones. Share it to your friends. Share it to your family, home and abroad. I want you to go on. We have one minute more. Just go ahead. Just go ahead. Share this good news tonight of what God is doing on this platform. God has been so awesome with us. There's healing, there's deliverance, there's restoration. Every minute, every second, God has been so good to us. God has been so real. And I don't want us to keep it to ourselves. I want us to stretch our hands forth to other people to invite them. And I know as we do, the Lord is going to richly bless us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, I want to say thank you for this great opportunity and privilege that you have given to us again tonight. May your name be praised. May your name be worshipped. May your name be exalted. May your name be glorified. I ask tonight as we go in the word of God that you lead, that you direct, that you guide, Lord God Almighty, that you minister to everyone joining tonight. Minister by grace, minister by favor, touch every life. That there is no life that comes online with us tonight that will not be touched. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the goodness and the mercy of God reach out to the people of God again tonight. That the name of our Lord God will be glorified in the lives of the people of God. Precious Holy Spirit, we take authority over the gate of Hades and we decree and declare that it will not prevail over the kingdom of God. Precious Holy Spirit, lead as I follow you. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise and we worship you. And all the saints of God joining me again tonight, we say a big amen. Hallelujah. Before we go on, I want to say thank you to our worship team. I also want to say thank you to our media team. I want to say thank you to the, our sister that helped in interpreting this message. And to everyone that invite people on this platform, I say, God, richly bless you. Endow you with greatness and wisdom and blessing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The title of my message again tonight is the hack of God. Hallelujah. Every one of you that are children of God, you are hack of God. Nobody dare touch you. Did you hear that? Nobody dare touch you because you are the ark of the living God. And at times we don't even know our value. We don't know who we are in Christ. And that is why tonight I've come to remind you that you are the ark of God. Anyone that touches you are in trouble. Anyone that tries to trespass into your life 
hey, 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 they are also in trouble. Yeah, I want you to understand that the adversaries of the Lord, according to the scripture, will be broken to pieces. I don't know your adversaries tonight, but I have an assurance to tell you again tonight that your adversaries will be broken to pieces. And you know the hack of God. Nobody there talks the hack of God. Nobody. You know, in the whole testament, when Israel go to battle, one of the things that they do, they carry the hack of God in the midst of them. And the ark of God will go ahead of them. And as they carry the hack of God, you'll find out that the enemy will be trembling, just seeing the hack of God. As I was uh, looking through the scripture, I find out where the hack of God, where the ark of God was brought into the camp of the Philistines. And when the Philistines hack about the heart of God and the children of Israel was shouting, there was a shout in the camp of the children of God because the heart of God came into the midst of the people and that gave them the assurance that the battle is already won. I want to tell you tonight that you are the ark of God. Any battle, anything that you are going through, I want you to be rest assured that you are not in it alone. God is on your side. And the God that is by your side, we also see you through to the other side. So don't be, don't be discouraged in the journey of life. Whoever touches you, touches God, because you are the ark of God. Hallelujah. Whoever can go up against you, can go up against God, because you are the ark of God. And this is why the enemy dare not touch you. Hear this as a child of God. You must have that confidence. You know, the scripture makes us to understand. It said, this is the confidence that we have. So as a child of God, you must have the confidence that I have the ark of God. Who dare touches me? If you try and touch me, you are touching God. And I want you to know that it's the same thing with you. Whoever tries to touch you, they are touching the heart of God. I want you to celebrate that tonight because you are the heart of God. Your children are the heart of God. Your husband, your wife is the heart of God. Anybody that tries to touch you, the person is in trouble. So I want you to receive that this evening. Hold it in your hand and be rest assured that you are the heart of God. Praise the Lord, somebody. Let's go in the Bible to the first book, to the book of 1 Samuel and 5, as I will be reading from 2 to 6 in my own version. Hallelujah. 1 Samuel 5, 2 to 6, and I will be reading in my version. Then the Philistine took the hack of gold and brought it into the house of the dragon and set it up beside the dragon. Note that. And when the people of Ashrod rose early the next day, Behold, dragon has fallen, dragon has fallen face down. Dragon has fallen, uh, uh, sorry, dragon has fallen face down on the ground before the ark of the Lord. So they took the dragon and put it up back in its place. But when they rose early on the next morning, behold, dragon has fallen face down again on the ground before the ark of the Lord. And the head of the dragon, both his head and his end, were lying cut off on the threshold. Only the trunks of the dragon was left to him. This is why the priest of dragon, all who enters the house of dragon, do not tread on the threshold of dragon in Ashrod to say to this day, the end of the Lord was heavy against the people of Ashrod. And it terrified and afflicted them with tumor, both Ashrod and his territory. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. The Philistine took the hack of God, of the Lord, and brought it into the house of dragon, according to the scripture that we have just read. Hear this tonight and hear me, and let the enemy know that you know who you are in Christ. Hear this. The scripture says, they brought the ark of the Lord into where? They brought the ark of the Lord into the threshold of the dragon. Hear this. You and your children, you are the ark of the Lord. You represent God here on earth. Am I telling you, so? am I talking to somebody tonight? You are untouchable. What did I say? You are untouchable. 
as a child of God. Your children are untouchable. Your household are untouchable. Hear this and hear me very well. The ark of the Lord, hey, hey, you are the ark of the Lord and you matter to God in case you do not know. What did I say? I say you matter to God. Your children matter to God. Hallelujah. In the realm of the spirit, I don't know where they have taken you as the ark of God. There are many times in your dream that you see that they've taken you away from somewhere and you cannot identify where they have taken you to. But I come as the side of the living God again tonight as an intercessor. And I'm saying wherever they have taken you in the realm of the spirit, tonight they will let you go. What did, this, what did I say? I said tonight they will let you go. You didn't hear me. I said tonight. I said tonight. I said tonight. They will let you go. You can't be destroyed. I'm saying this to you as a child of God, and I want you to say that to yourself. Say, I cannot be destroyed. Say, I and my children that he has given to me. I want you to say it louder than anybody right in your home. Say, we cannot be destroyed. I want you to say it with an holy anger. Say, I and the children that the Lord has given to me. Say, we cannot be destroyed. I want you to go one more time and say it with great assurance. Say, I and the children that God has given to me. We cannot be destroyed. Hallelujah, somebody. So this is what happened in this scripture. They said the ark of God beside the dragon. The power of the dragon is not a match to the power of the God that you are serving. Can I say that again? The power of God that you are serving is not a match to the power of, of, the, of, the, of the dragon. Hear this and hear me this again tonight. I want you to have a deeper understanding. The power of God that you are serving. Can I say that again? I said the power of God that you are serving is not a match to any other power. Let me say this to you tonight and give you a, a great understanding. Your power, the power of God backing you up is greater than any other power. Can I say that again? The power of God backing you up on a daily basis is greater than any other power. Though you may not be able to see the power, but here it is. The ark of God was put beside the dragon. Here it is. The dragon is an image and the ark of God, and that is the living God himself. I want you to know tonight that you are a carrier of the living God. Everywhere you go, you are not just an ordinary person. And stop saying to yourself, this little me, I'm just an ordinary. No, no, no. The supernatural God, the supernatural power of God resides in you. The supernatural power of God back you up on a daily basis. The supernatural power of, power of God surrounds you like a shield. The supernatural power of God is going in front of you and is also behind you. It's at your life side and is at your right hand. Who dare mess up with you as a child of God? Whoever mess up with you from today because you have declared by your own mouth that you are an ark of God. And because you are saying an ark of God, nobody dare destroy you in the mighty name of Jesus. Can I pray for you tonight? No power of the gate of Elisha will be able to destroy you. No power of the gate of Elisha will be able to mess up with you. No power of the gate of Elisha will be able to stop you. No power from your father's side or your mother's side or your husband's side will be able to stop you because you are are the ark of God and I pray for you tonight every other power that is trying to stop you, every other power that is trying to intimidate you every other power that is trying to cross you, every other power that is trying to cross you I come as an intercessor and I speak into your life from tonight they will not be able to touch you I want you to know that tonight that same scripture that said touch not my anointed and do them no harm. I stand on that scripture and I speak it over your life from tonight. Nobody will be able to do you harm. Nobody will be able to touch you. Nobody will be able to do your children harm and nobody will be able to touch you in the mighty name of Jesus. I say the powers of the gate of Elisa will not be able to touch you. The power of the gate of Elisa will not be able to swallow you. The powers of the gate of Elisa, no matter how they are 
no matter how they have captured you and they have put you in the center and they are saying there's no way of escape for you and they are saying you cannot go out and they are saying surely finally we have captured him we have captured her I come as an authority of the word of God again tonight and I declare I said they will not be able to destroy you the destroyers of life that destroy people not to be able to carry out the will and the plan of God and the name of Jesus will not be able to destroy you they will not be able to stop you they will not be able to limit you they will not be able to frustrate you they will not be able to confuse you in the mighty name of Jesus as I'm praying for you so also I'm praying for your children I am saying tonight that the powers of the gate of Hades will not be able to stop you they will not be able to stop your children they will not be able to stop your husband they will not be able to stop your business they will not be able to stop anything at all that is yours in the name of Jesus praise the Lord somebody so the scripture make us to understand according to the book of first Samuel that we read it said when they woke up the following day they put the drag on one side and they put the ark one side by the time they woke up the following day what happened the dragon was bound in front of the in the ark of God and they thought it was a mystic my God they thought it was a mystic hear this so they thought it was a mistake. They entered the ash, uh, Ashro, the temple of the dragon, and they tried to move it up and say maybe it was a mistake. Hear this and hear me very well. Anybody that does you harm and you think it's a mistake, from today they will fire themselves. Anybody that gather against you, I am standing in the position of an intercessor tonight, interceding for as many of you that are joining this line. I say by the power and the blood of Jesus, anybody that does you harm, and they thought they are doing the great thing, a great thing for themselves, and they are happy and they are jubilating from tonight. I command your power to quick. I command your great the, the power to great to quick. I command your evil unity concerning your life to quick in the name of Jesus. Whatever have held you in captivity, here it is, here it is. Whatever has brought hatred and disfavor into your life, whatever has brought confusion, whatever has closed door against your life, whatever has shut the door of grace and the door of mercy against you, I stand with you tonight by the authority of the blood and the name of Jesus that thing whatever it is tonight I say is destroyed I say is destroyed I say is destroyed the power behind your trouble my God I want you to hear that again the power behind your trouble tonight is destroyed by the power of the blood I come not in my name but I come in the name of Jesus I come in the name that is above every other name every power back in trouble up in your life every power back in back in back, back in sickness up in your life every power back in delay up in your life by the power of the blood and the name of Jesus I command such power tonight to quick I said they will quick every power back in barrenness up in your life every power back in delay up in your life every power back in lack up in your life physical, physical power spiritual power satanic power in the name of Jesus, I, I stand on the name of Jesus. I command them today, any power at all, back in trouble, back in sickness, back in, back in pain, up in your life, I command them to quick. 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 Can I say this? Uh, there's someone watching me tonight. There is an invisible power that is troubling your life. At the middle of the night, you always wake up exactly as about two. And that minute, you get confused. You get worried. I stand with you from this hour. By the power of the blood and the name of Jesus, every power confusing your life at the middle of the night. From tonight, we command your arrow to Caesar. Arrow of confusion sent into your life. Arrow of sleeplessness sent into your life. From tonight, we destroy that arrow. 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 In the name of Jesus, I speak over your life from tonight. Every pain to cease. Every trouble to cease. 
in the name of Jesus. Every sorrow, as you are under the sound of this voice, every sorrow from tonight, in the name of Jesus, to stop. In the name of Jesus, dragon foil down. And what happened? They were disgraced. But the dragon was disgraced. Not only that, the same way the dragon is disgraced, I come to prophesy into your life. Everyone in the end, the sin of your life, trying to trouble you, trying to confuse you, trying to give you pain. I said there will be disgrace. You didn't hear me? I said there will be disgrace. Everyone walking behind the sin of your life to bring reproach, to bring shame, to bring pain, to bring confusion, to bring frustration. I stand every power in the name of Jesus, man-made power, satanic power, demonic power in conjunction with the sun or the moon, in conjunction with the earth, in conjunction with anything, I say from tonight there will be disgrace, they are disgrace, they are disgrace, they are disgrace, they are disgrace, disgrace. in the name of Jesus, I stand as an intercessor for you tonight, and I say every power of the gate of hell concerning your life will be caught asunder, they caught as Asunder. Their power is caught asunder. Their power is caught asunder. Their demonic force is caught asunder. In the mighty name of Jesus, the same way that dragon power, I speak into your life. Every dragon, physical, spiritual, invisible, that you cannot see from tonight, they will bow because we're ark of God and everything bowed before the ark of God. I say to you tonight, things that have not been bowed before you. I said from tonight they will bow in the name of Jesus. I said they will bow before your children. I said they will bow in the name of Jesus from tonight. Things will turn around for you for good in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear this. I hear it clearly. I hear it clearly. I want to speak it into the life of somebody tonight. The, the root of barrenness in your life I don't know how, who I'm speaking to, but I stand in the position of an intercessor tonight. I said the root of barrenness, as I hear it, I speak it into your life. The root of barrenness tonight is destroyed. Tonight your womb open. Ay, 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 ay. I said tonight your womb open. In the Nakotoli Bragadosha. I said tonight your womb open. Paila Basu Calibro Gagadosha. In Naganokoto Calibro Gagadosha. The door of your womb tonight opened by the blood of Jesus. The door of your womb. Nagana Nokoto Calibro Gagada. Regegena Mokoto I said tonight the door of that woman and Negorobo Shigali Bragaga as I'm commanded to speak. I speak to that woman and I say in the name of Jesus that womb tonight open in the name of Jesus 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 I hear this again the power that pursue you day and night and nano kutakeni bokotaya manga nago dokotoni bragaga the Lord asked me to tell you that from tonight they are disgrace. Negagada. I said they are disgrace. Ningalosu Calibro Gagadosha. I said they are disgrace. That power that pursue you from tonight. I said they are disgrace. In the name of Jesus. Rimanda Locotoli Bragaga. I speak the word of God into your life. Hear this again. Hear this again. The chariot of the enemy that they used to pursue you in Nanga to Kuni Brugaga and Nanga da Kotola Bragada. You see yourself running in the dream. Every time you are running, there's something that is chasing you. I hear the word of God say to you tonight the wheels of the chariots of the enemy tonight is removed. Nagagagaga, Lebro 
Gaga, you will not dream that dream again. And Gaga, after tonight, oh Lord my God, I say after tonight, because the wheels of the chariot of the enemy that is chasing you and you don't know who it is, I say tonight, their wheels are removed, their wheels are destroyed, their wheels are clamped down in the name of Jesus. From tonight, you are set free by the power of the blood. I said you are set free. I said by the power of the blood. I said you are set free. Here they say it. So they woke up the following morning. Remember the first morning, they thought it was a tight play. At first, the dragon was bowing right before the ark of God. So they still feel it's a play. It's a play. Remember one of the evening, I said, or in the morning, I couldn't remember again. I said, God is a game changer. You can't to Calibra Gaga. The game has changed. It's not going to be the same thing again. That power that come in the dream to oppress you. Ella Gaga, don't put to Calibra Gaga da Bosha. Nagaga Gaga Gaga. Lebro Gaga da Boshi Gaga Gaga Gaga. From tonight, there is fire between you and them. Aira da Koto Calibra Gaga. Aira da Bosha Kata Libro Gaga Gaga. Enege Koto Calibra Gaga. Do she Calibra Gaga. I said from tonight, that power that come to press you down, that power that appear in your dream. I said after tonight, there is a fire between you and them, and they will not be able to reach you again. I said they will not be able to reach you again. I said they will not be able to reach you again. Remember, I said our God is a God is a game changer. The access that they have into your life, the door tonight is shorter. Rabba sekeke libraga Gada ne geto koli braga Their schemes, their devices Tonight is destroyed And is destroyed Permanently I say is destroyed Permanently In the name of Jesus Hear this So they wake up the following morning And what happened This is the second day My God is a game changer When he play with you on one level he has just started. You haven't seen anything yet. Uh -huh. I said, you haven't seen anything yet. Then God went to another level. The following day, by the time they wake up, what happened? The head of the dragon has been cut up. The head of the dragon has been cut up. Can I pray for you? By the power of the blood and the name of Jesus, everything that is troubling your life, Everything that is troubling your home, everything that is troubling your health, everything that is troubling your finances, everything that is troubling your marriage, everything that is troubling your children, tonight their head is cut up. Maga, Nikalu, Shiga, Libra, Gada, Magele, Bogo, Dogo, Dogo, Doga, Inderia, Catoli, Broga, Gabro, Shiga, Libra, Gaga, Raga, Gaga, 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 that dragon in your life, that appear in your life, that dragon in your life, that sits on your breakthrough, that drag, 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 drag on in your life, that said they will not allow you to go from tonight, in Nagada, Kutuni, Bragaga, their power will bow before you, in Negagabo, Shigalia, I said their power will bow before you, in Nagato, Kutiki, Libra, Gaga, their end is destroyed, they will no longer be able to stretch their hand against you again, they will not be able to stretch their hand against your children again, they will not be able to stretch their hand. Enanga takuli braga enegegedo kutugi magada. I stand by the power of the blood of Jesus. Every evil hand stretched towards you. Every evil hand stretched towards your children. Every evil tongue stretched over your children. Enega gaga dukeli braga gaga maga gaga 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 enegedo kotoria. They will bite themselves. I said they will bite themselves from tonight. They will. They will bite, 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 they will bite one another in the name of Jesus. So the head of the dragon and the head of the dragon cut off. So anything that is troubling you from tonight, I stand in agreement with you, is cut off. I say it's cut off 
from tonight, from tonight, from tonight. And this is why you have to believe the word as it's coming out. Anything that is troubling your life, anything that is troubling your home, anything that is troubling your head, anything that is troubling your marriage, from tonight, from tonight, whatever that is troubling your peace, from tonight, it is cut off. I say it is cut off. It is cut off. It is cut off in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hear this, hear this. From tonight, by the power in the blood of Jesus, your, your enemy, we experience the end of God. That we experience the move of your God. That we see God. The way they have not seen God before. In the name of Jesus, I said they will see God. The way they have not seen God before. In the name of Jesus. You hear the Bible says, the end of God was strong against the enemy. Can I pray for four or five or six or ten of you from tonight? The end of God will be stronger against your troublers. I said the end of God will be stronger against your troublers. I said the end of God. I said from tonight, as I'm speaking right now, the hand of God will be stronger against your enemy, against your adversary, every troublers of your life. Hear this, hear this. My God will begin to trouble them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can I pray for you from tonight? There's no how your enemy will struggle that they will meet you again. Hear this, hear this, hear this. The Lord will trouble them with two more. Hey, 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 hey. From this hour, I said, My God, we trouble them with two more. From tonight, from tonight, from tonight, from tonight, from tonight, from tonight. Those who said they will not let you go. Those who said they will not let you enjoy your life. Those who said they will not allow peace to reign in your home, in your marriage. I pray for you. I said, My hands of God will be strong in their body. The Lord will visit them with great tumor in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Go with me again. Let's go to the book of 2 Samuel again. And I read 2 and 10. And follow tonight as I follow Christ. Hallelujah. I'm going to read from my own version. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. Oh my God. Out of heaven shall the thunder upon them. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth. And he shall give strength unto the, his king. And exalt the arms of his anointed. My God, my God, my God. I want you to hear that again. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. As a child of God, you need not worry about your adversary. And this is the truth. Can I say that again? You say, Pastor Anderson, what are you saying? Don't worry about them. They are the least people you need to worry about. They are the least thing you need to worry about. Hallelujah. Do you know why you don't worry about them? Let me say this. Whoever that is your friend is a friend of God. My God. Whoever causes you, Magana Gotoko de Braga, cause does not depart from them. Whoever blesses you, also they are blessed all the days of their life. Am I talking to somebody? And the scripture make us to understand. It said the adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. Hear me, the child of God tonight, wherever you are hearing me from. If you are a child of God, then it means, if you are a child of God, then it means anyone that troubles you, troubles God. Am I talking to somebody? Anybody that touches you, touches God. Am I talking to somebody? And the Spirit of says, whosoever is your adversary, then is God also adversary? Can I say that again so that you hear it very well? Whosoever that is your enemy, then is also enemy to God. Whosoever look at you and for no reason, and they say, I just hate you, and I don't know the reason why I hate you. I want you to know that they hate your God. Whosoever that the 
does not like you, then does not like God. It's like me having children and you don't like my children and you tell me that you love me. No, 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 no. You cannot love me if you don't love my children. In fact, I will prepare you to tell me that you love my children than saying you love me. Because if you love me, then you must love my children. And it's the same thing. Whosoever that is your adversary is also the adversaries of the Lord. And the Lord said in this world, he said, they shall be broken into pieces. I join my faith with you tonight by the power of the Lord and the name of Jesus. Whosoever that is your adversary from tonight, they will be broken to pieces, 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 to pieces in the name of Jesus. Do you know some, something about the people that say you are their adversary? I want you to hear this. I want you to hear this. God is the one that deals with them. It's not your battle. What did I say? Anybody that does not like you, is, you are like Israel. Remember, I started that you are the ark of God. If anybody looks at you and say, I don't like you. I don't like the ark of God. They have just said they don't like God. They don't like God. So God has every reason to deal with them. Am I talking to somebody tonight? God has every reason to deal with them. Anybody that just look at you and say, I hate seeing you. I just don't want to come near you. I just don't like you. What they are saying, they don't like your God. And if they say they don't like your God, they are looking for the trouble of your God. So it's now the battles of God. It's no longer your battle. It's now the battle of God. And this is why the scripture says they are the vassal of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. So whosoever that is your adversary, they will be broken to pieces in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I said they will be broken to pieces. Ow. They will not be able to function again. What did I say? Aha. I said they will not be able to function again. God will use his weapon of thunder to silence them permanently. And this is the word of God because it's the promises of God for you as a child of God. That, do you know that thunder is a weapon, it's a divine weapon that God uses to destroy the enemy. I stand in agreement with you tonight. Everybody that said you are his adversary, everybody that is standing in your way, whatsoever, whosoever, wherever they are standing against you, I said tonight, thunder from heaven to scatter their gathering against you, to scatter their gathering against your children, to scatter, to scatter what they packet together, what they put together from tonight in the name of Jesus, whether it's in the earthly court or in the spiritual court that they have taken you. I come as a servant of the living God. I pronounce, I decree tonight your release from any court where they are judging your case, where they have taken you physically or spiritually in the name of Jesus. I say tonight you are released from judgment passed over your life, from judgment passed over your children, from judgment passed over your health, from judgment passed over your marriage in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that from tonight my God will strengthen you. I say my God will strengthen you physically, spiritually, maritally. The strength of God is your portion from this minute. I say the strength of God is your portion from today. In the mighty name of Jesus, let me announce to some of you tonight, it's a new journey. From tonight, you didn't hear me. It's the beginning of a new journey. You didn't hear me. I want to say it louder so that you hear me again. I say from tonight, it's the beginning of a new journey. Your new level, you are rising to it tonight. I stand by the power of the blood of Jesus as an intercessor and I speak to you. I say rise up. I say rise up. I say rise up. You cannot be left in your future. I said you cannot be left. 
I said you cannot believe. 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 In your feet again. I said you cannot believe. I said you cannot believe. The work of your hand can never be scattered again. I pray for you tonight by the power of the blood and the name of Jesus. Whatever wants you to gather and at the same time begin to scatter. I speak over the works of your hand. I say from tonight you will not gather and scatter in the name of Jesus. I speak over your thought from tonight in the name that is above every other name. Your thought will be pure. Your thought will be true. Your thought will be in line with the word of God from tonight in the name of Jesus. I pray for you from tonight. You will experience a new level. You will experience uh, new things uh, in your life uh, from tonight. I pray for you. The Lord will be merciful unto you from tonight. I said God will be merciful unto you from tonight. Where you have struggled to reach in life and you could not reach up. I say from tonight, easily you will assess in the name of Jesus your new level. You will assess your new level. You will assess your new level. You will assess your new level without any struggle in the name of Jesus. I speak over your life. It shall be one breakthrough and another breakthrough in the power that is above every other name. Every power that changes what is meant to be yours, every power that struggles with you and take from you and withdraw from you from tonight is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every power that exchange your greatness i said from tonight is destroyed in the name of jesus oh thank you father lord i give you praise lord i worship you lord i exalt you i want you to open your mouth wherever you are i want you to pray some of this prayer point tonight i want you to pray some of this prayer point tonight i want you to say i decree and i declare in the name of jesus father Terrify my troublers. Magali gaga dogo, shigali bragaga. Wherever you are hearing me, I want you to speak by yourself right now. Say the Lord will begin to terrify all your adversary, all your troublers, 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 the troublers of your children. Ask God to terrify them. Ask God to terrify them. People that stood as Philistines in your life. Powers that stood as Philistines. Powers that stood as Midianites in your life. I said, let God begin to terrify them. Power that stood like Egyptians in your life tonight. Let the power of God terrify them. Terrify them. Terrify them. Terrify them. Terrify them. Terrify them. In the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Father. I want you to lift up your voice wherever you are hearing me again tonight. I want you to say, I decree, I declare, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the enemies of the Lord begin to be broken to pieces. The enemies of the Lord, anybody that is your enemy is also God's enemy. I want you to cry out to God that enemies of the Lord be destroyed tonight, be destroyed tonight, be destroyed tonight, and be broken to pieces. I want you to pray by yourself. I want you to pray by yourself. As you are praying, I want you to pray by faith that the enemies of the Lord be broken to pieces, be broken to pieces, be broken to pieces. Let the enemies of the Lord, I want you to speak out tonight that the enemies of the Lord be broken to pieces, be broken to pieces in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to decree and declare that the strongholds of the enemy over my life be destroyed. Let the strongholds of the enemy over my life, over the life of my children be destroyed tonight, be destroyed tonight, be destroyed tonight. I want you to move in the place of prayer. I want you to concentrate. I want you to focus on this prayer in the name that is above every other name. Let the strongholds of the enemy be destroyed over your life 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 the strong oaths of the enemy the strong oaths of the wicked the strong oaths that comes 
cause you to procrastinate. Say today is destroyed. The strong host of delay. I want you to break the way I'm saying it. Say the strong host of delay. Today is destroyed in my life. The strong host of procrastination. Say today is destroyed by the power of the blood and the name of Jesus. Say evil satanic stronghold in my life, in the life of my children. Say today is destroyed. Is destroyed, is destroyed, is destroyed, is destroyed. Every struggle of the enemy that kept you in low table, the place of no pastor, said to care is destroyed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I join my faith with you tonight. Wherever you are hearing me, by the power of the blood and the name of Jesus, the strongholds of the enemy over your life today is broken to pieces. Is broken to pieces. It's broken to pieces. It's broken to pieces. Every struggle of the enemy that caused you to procrastinate. Every struggles of the enemy causing delay in your life. Every struggle of the enemy causing denial to great things in your life. Today is destroyed. Is destroyed. Is destroyed. Is destroyed. Is destroyed. Is destroyed. In the name of Jesus, I release the grace and anointing. To overcome every satanic struggle, the grace and anointing to overcome every demonic struggle. Receive that grace today. 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 In the name of Jesus, that grace come upon you. That grace work for you. That grace deliver you. That grace. That grace. That grace, that grace, that grace, Kalima Gadosha, cause you to testify about the goodness of God in the name of Jesus. I want you to quickly take this prayer point again. Wherever you are hearing me again tonight, say, Father, I decree and I declare, let every power that is against my life bow tonight. Every power, command them to bow. Command them to bow. Take authority. Take authority and begin to declare. Every power against your life, every power against your movement, every power against your job, every power against your comfort, every power, command them to lie, command them to bow, 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 command them to bow. I want you to lift up your voice that every power tonight in the name of Jesus. Bow to the name of Jesus. I join my faith with you tonight that every power troubling your life, demonic power, satanic power, power from the marine kingdom, every power troubling your life from tonight, they will bow to the name of Jesus. They are bowing. I said they are bowing. I said they are bowing. I said they are bowing to the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I exalt you. That evil ring that they gave you in the dream. I pray for you today. The power that followed that ring broke to pieces. Break 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 to pieces, break to pieces, break to pieces in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, that sister, any covenant that is this picking over your life, every covenant that is claiming and is laying hold of good things in your life and is not allowing you to break culture. I break the power of that covenant tonight in the name of Jesus. I break the power of that covenant tonight in the name of Jesus. I break the power of that covenant tonight in the name of Jesus. I release you into greatness in the name of Jesus. I want you to decree and declare again. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, turn that in the camp of my enemy. Turn that in the camp of my enemy. Where they gather physically, spiritually. Oh, Lord, turn that in their camp. 
Thunder in the account. Thunder in the account. Thunder in the account. Thunder in the account. I want you to release thunder to the camp of the enemy. We are the God that to mention your name. We are the God that to do you harm. We are the God that to frustrate you. We are the God that to confuse you. We are the God that to fight you. I want you to release thunder, 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 maga, gaga, gaga, into the camp of the enemy. I want you to release thunder into the camp of the enemy. Into the camp of the enemy into the camp of the enemy i want you to speak today i said by the power of the blood of jesus release thunder into the camp of the enemy into the camp of the enemy into the camp of the enemy take your anointing oil and begin to anoint yourself say from tonight every assessor of the enemy into my life it is blocked every assessor of the enemy into my life say it's blocked say Say is blocker. 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 Every access of the enemy into my life, into the life of my children. Say from tonight. Say is block. Say is block. Say is block. Say is block. Say whatever. Give the enemy access into my life. Say tonight. I shut the door by the power of the Lord. I want you to declare that. Say I shut the door. Say, I shut the door. Remember, anoint yourself. Anoint yourself. Say, I shut the door. Say, I shut the door. I shut the door to the spirit of Socopus and Incubus. That spirit that gives that, that have sex with you in the dream. Say, today I shut the door. I want you to say it again. I want you to say it again. Some of you that is watching me tonight, this is one of the major problems in your life. I want you to cry out to God. Say, I shut the door to that spirit husband. I shut the door to that spirit wife. By the power of the blood, remember, they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and their confession. So I want you to make that confession. I want you to make that confession. And I go to Calibro Gagaga. I shut the door physically, spiritually, mentally. I shut the door in my home. I want you to pray that way. I shut the door to my pain. Say, I shut the door. Say, I shut the door. In the name of Jesus, I want you to declare it again. Say, I shut the door. I hear it clearly. Someone you are receiving double breakthrough. Double, double breakthrough. Double breakthrough. Double breakthrough. I declare it again. By the power of the name of Jesus, let that double breakthrough manifest tonight, manifest tonight, manifest tonight, manifest tonight, that double breakthrough, that double breakthrough, I stand in agreement with you, as the Lord has released, and the Lord has confessed, and the Lord has confirmed, your double breakthrough tonight, receive it, in the name of Jesus, that double breakthrough, that double breakthrough, that double breakthrough, that double breakthrough, I say receive it, I say receive it, I say receive it, I say receive it. What has been difficult? Enaga go to calibra gaga for some time. From now, receive the anointing which is. Ayagadabagosha. Receive the anointing which is. Enegedoboshi calibraga. I say receive the anointing of this. Aragadagadaga. I say receive the anointing of this. I'm talking to somebody again. Somebody put a mark on you. It put a mark on you. You were watching the person and it was marking you. I stand in the position of an intercessor tonight. Every mark of the enemy, every mark of the beast, every mark of sorrow, every mark of pain, every mark of untimely death, every mark of trouble. I soak my hand in the pool of the blood and I release the blood of Jesus. I wipe off every mark. I wipe off demonic mark. I wipe off satanic mark. I wipe off ungodly mark. I wipe off every trouble in your life today by the power in the blood and the name of Jesus. Every demonic mark, every satanic mark, every mark of sorrow, every mark that caused people to hate you. I stand with you today by the power of the blood. I wipe off that mark. I wipe up that mark. I wipe up that mark in the name of Jesus. I wipe up. I wipe up demonic mark, satanic mark. 
I wrap it up tonight. I declare your freedom. I declare your freedom. I declare your freedom in the name of Jesus. I want you to take this prayer point again. I want you to decree. I want you to declare and say, Father, through your strength, I receive my victory. I receive victory roundabout. Say victory roundabout. Say victory roundabout. Say through your strength and your mercy, I receive victory roundabout. Victory roundabout. Victory. I want you to begin to declare victory roundabout. Victory roundabout. Victory roundabout. Victory roundabout. Rika naga no shika I want you to declare victory, victory roundabout, victory roundabout from today. Say, Father, I want to experience victory roundabout, 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 roundabout. I want you to declare. 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 I want you to quickly say again. Say back to back favor. Maganagoro Shigali Braga. Say from today. I want you to say, say back to back favor. Everywhere I go, everywhere I enter. Say my children, back to back favor. Say back to back favor. I want you to declare. Say from today. Am I am I hearing you saying to yourself? Say from today. I will experience. I will enjoy back to back favor. Back to back favor. I want you to declare. I want you to declare. Say from today, I will experience back to back favor. Say back to back favor everywhere I go. Say I will experience. I want you to say it. Say I will experience back to back favor. Back to back favor. Back to back favor. Back to back favor. I want you to. I want you to declare. I want you to declare. I stand in agreement with you. From today, your life and your time has come. In the name that is above every other name, from this minute, you will experience back to back favor, back to back favor, back to back favor, back to back favor. I rather so tired. Whatever that is this favor in your life is removed, is removed, is removed, is removed, is removed. In the name of Jesus, I want to pray for somebody. Anything that caused you to start and not finish. Today is the end of it. Every mark of start and not finish. I release grace and anointing over your life today. Anything that caused you to start and you don't finish is destroyed. Is destroyed. Is destroyed. Is destroyed. In the name of Jesus. I'm speaking to somebody again for quite some time. You don't have the job to go to. And the Lord asked me to tell you that he has prepared a table for you. That table that God has prepared for you and the street that God has prepared for you, you will be the one to sit on it. You will be the one to sit on it. You will be the one to sit on it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. From today. In the name of Jesus. Whatever stop the flow of blessing in your life, today in the name of Jesus, we remove anything that stop the flow, the flow, the flow, the flow, the flow, the flow, the flow of blessing, the flow of breakthrough in your life. I stand in agreement with you. Whatever stop the flow is removed today. It's removed today. It's removed today. It's removed today. It's removed today. Anything that stop the flow of blessing, the flow of joy, the flow of peace, the flow of breakthrough in your life, we remove it today. 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 In the name of Jesus, I call heaven on your behalf. I call heaven on your behalf. Today, in the name that is above every other name, I pray that you will experience rain. Oh my God, I said you will experience rain. And Bagarosha. I said you will experience rain. Enabo to Calibro Gagaro Shiga. I said you will experience rain. You will experience rain. You will experience rain. You will experience rain from this hour. In Nanaka to Calibraga, the season of drought in your life ended now. The season of drought. Hey, hey, Kanagarosha. I'm speaking to three people right now. I did, I said the season of drought in your life ended now. Ended now. Ended now. Ended now. 
ended now in the name of Jesus. The season of drought, the season of lack, the season of not enough, the season of just enough, the season, the season from this hour. I stand in agreement with you. I say, end now in the name of Jesus. I stretch both my hands to you and I say, congratulations. Take your holy communion quickly. Take your holy communion quickly. Take your holy com communion. I want you to take your holy communion. As I hear that word, I want you to begin to declare it over yourself. Declare congratulations. Declare congratulations. Say people will congratulate me. Say they will congratulate me. I want you to take your holy communion. I want you to take it now. Get ready. Get ready. And I want you to say this. Say, Father, say, I stand in agreement with your servant. And I declare from this minute, everyone will congratulate me. Say, congratulatory message begin to come in for me. Say, congratulatory message. I want you to say it again. Say congratulatory message. I want you to say it again. Say from this hour, I receive congratulatory message as you are about to take your holy communion. I want you to speak it. Say from this hour, I receive congratulatory message. I receive congratulatory message in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Say whatsoever has been broken, People from congratulating me, whatsoever has been blocking me from receiving congratulations, say today, by the power of the blood of Jesus that was shed for me on the cross of Calvary, say remove it, say the blood of Jesus, remove it, whatever is delaying my congratulatory message, say from today, is removed in the name of God the Father and the Son. And the Holy Ghost said, For this reason, Jesus died for me on the cross of Calvary. Say, I receive congratulatory message from this minute. Say, Men will congratulate me. Say, Women will congratulate me. People will congratulate me. Say, From this minute, it shall be congratulation, congratulation for one thing to another. From this minute, say, I enter. I want you to say it again. I enter. I enter. I enter my season of congratulation. I want you to say it. Say, I enter my season of congratulation in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Say, I key into it. I will be congratulated in the name of Jesus concerning my children, concerning my household, concerning my ministry, concerning my business. Say, thank you, Father. I receive that grace and anointing tonight in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. I want us to hear together. I want us to hear together. I want us to hear together. I speak over your life from tonight. Men, we congratulate you. I want you to first congratulate yourself. I want you to say congratulations. Men, we congratulate me. Say women, we congratulate me. Children will congratulate me. Community will congratulate me. My colleagues, my team members, they will congratulate me. From today, I receive grace and anointing for people to congratulate me in the name of Jesus. Say, from tonight, that word is for me. I receive it and I'm coming back to testify. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. Father, we worship you. Father, we exalt you. Father, we adore you. Father, we glorify you. I stand in agreement with you tonight. The grace for congratulation, the anointing for congratulation, I release over your life tonight. I release over your life tonight. I release over your life tonight. In the name of Jesus, you have never been congratulated, but from tonight, people will begin to congratulate you in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father God. Lord, every prophetic word that came out tonight, we pray for manifestation, speedy manifestation of it as your children receive it in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. We return the glory back to you, honor and adoration. And all the saints of God we say, Amen. Hallelujah. Before we go tonight, 
I want you also to key into that. I want you to key by faith. Key into it by faith. Key into it. It's your season of congratulation. Men, we begin to congratulate you about different things in your life from tonight. It's congratulation, 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 congratulation for yourself, for your children, for your husband, for your household, for your business, for ministry, for your health, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Give out of the substance that God has given to you again tonight. Don't hold it back to yourself. Key into it, sow into it, believe it, trust God, and know that God is a God of wonder. God is a God of wonder, taking your life to another level because the game has changed. Go ahead and give, go ahead and give, and it shall be well with you. Before we go again tonight, I want you to know that tomorrow, by the special grace of God, we'll be having our morning devotion. I want you to be part of it. Don't miss it. Don't trade it for anything. Make sure you join us for morning devotion. I want you to also be an evangelist and spreading the goodness of what God is doing in our ministry. And the Lord will bless you for that. Also, I want you to know that by the special grace of God, we are still in that program. Root out this Saturday. Anything that is not meant to be in your life, we root it out by the power and the grace and the mercy of God. Don't miss it this Friday, Saturday. 6 a.m. again Saturday. Tomorrow we are home. Join us tomorrow. Join us on Friday. For those of you that want dedication and wants to come to church, yes, it's available. Make sure the first one you want to come, make sure you came to it. And make sure you, you sign as well and show your interest that you are coming so that we know that you are coming. It shall be well with you. Until I come your way again, again, I want to say congratulations, congratulations, congratulations for a new position that God has put you in Jesus' name. It is well with you. Hallelujah.